Horns up, Bulls Nation, and welcome. I could probably take this off now. I'm six feet apart from everybody in the studio. Welcome to our 2020 virtual WOW kickoff event here at the University of South Florida. I am your host this evening. My name is Greg Wolf. I am the MC for USF Athletics, and what a beautiful virtual tour to start our festivities this evening. Obviously, we would love to be in the Marshall Center for the customary balloon drop, but the virtual version, pretty awesome, I must say myself. So we are obviously under some different circumstances. Typically, we would either be at the Marshall Center or at the Yingling Center all joined together, but we are glad that you have joined us here virtually on the USF Facebook page and broadcasting on various channels across the interweb. Now, we have a fantastic lineup of guests here for you this evening. I'm super excited, actually, to get into our very first guest, which is actually two, I might add. Uh, our first guest is USF's seventh president, and believe it or not, his first event as president was last year's USF WOW Kickoff Week event. He is, of course, joined by his wife, Dr. Cheyenne Corral, and it is our president, Dr. Stephen Corral. Guys, take it away. Well, thank you, Greg, and, and good evening. We're so delighted to have this opportunity to welcome you, our new and returning students, to the start of the fall semester at the University of South Florida. This year is special, of course. As of July, we are officially one USF, which means that we are united across our three campuses in our academic mission and aspirations. Regardless of where you're joining us from this evening, and regardless of what campus will be your home base, whether that's Tampa, St. Petersburg, or Sarasota, Manatee, we are one USF community, and there is strength in this community. Of course, this year is also unique because of the impact of COVID-19 on our lives. At USF, we work diligently to plan for your safe return to our campuses and to offer options for you to pursue your academic goals. We put in place safety protocols and we've modified facilities to prioritize the health and safety of you as well as our dedicated faculty and staff. We're clear in what's expected, wearing face coverings, maintaining physical distance, 
and avoiding large gatherings, both on campus and off campus, are requirements. Doing these consistently is critical if we are to reduce the risk of spreading this virus to one another. As members of our USF community, it's important that we recognize the impact of our personal choices on others. Having awareness of our impact on others and taking responsibility for our behaviors is reflected in USF's principles of community. Our principles of community express our character and the behaviors that we aspire to consistently to be a community. In this time of COVID-19, we must not only have an awareness of these principles, but we must really live them. Now, speaking of community, I want to introduce another proud member of the USF community to say hello, my wife, Dr. Cheyenne Corral. As some of you may know, Cheyenne and I have been living in a residence on the Tampa campus since arriving at USF last year. And to be honest, it's been a little bit quieter than we imagined. Yes, we're very thrilled to have all of you, um, some of you come back on the campus here in Tampa and also in uh, St. Petersburg and Sarasota. During the summer, I took many walks through the campus and enjoyed the beauty, but there's nothing like the energy that you bring to campuses. So welcome to all of you. We have much to look forward to this year. We're a community with pride in our accomplishments and a community that cares for one another. We've made that a priority and I ask you to join me. Let's demonstrate the best of who we are as one USF. So on behalf of our entire community, welcome to the family. I wish you all the best for a great and a safe school year. Greg, back to you in the studio. Thank you, President and First Lady. Amazing words from both of them. And uh, like you heard the First Lady, Dr. Cheyenne, say, please, if you haven't taken a tour around the campus lately, please do so, because this is one of the most beautiful universities in the entire country. So you definitely did a good job by picking USF. Now, many of you guys are watching us from a residence hall room, and we have a very special message right now from our friends at Housing and Residential Education. Welcome to the University of South Florida. I'm Anna Hernandez, Assistant Vice President of Housing and Residential Education. After months of thoughtful planning, we are so excited to kick off the fall 2020 semester. We understand this is a unique time to be making this transition, but the future is bright and there is so much ahead for you at USF. And for those students who will be living with us on campus, we are so happy that you've chosen to live the Bulls life here at USF. As an on-campus resident, you'll have an access to a multitude of resources, including your resident assistant, hall counsel, resident services, and opportunities to make friends. These resources and more are here to support your academic and personal success. The campus community is also supported by our amazing housekeeping staff and maintenance technicians who are focused on creating a clean and safe environment. As we enter an academic year unlike any before, the health and safety of our residential community relies on the residents who call it home. It's imperative to wear face coverings, practice physical distancing, wash your hands frequently, and follow the protocols posted throughout the campus to maintain a healthy community. We look forward to supporting you as you reach your full potential this semester. Thank you for choosing USF. Get ready to live the Bulls life. Go Bulls! Thank you, Anna and the uh, Housing and Residential Education Unit for their continued commitment to provide a safe and welcoming experience for our campus residents. And we do also know that many of you guys are living in a residence hall, but many of you are also scattered throughout the Tampa Bay area and beyond. And again, we thank you guys for checking in here for our virtual kickoff event. Also, need a shout out to the marketing team here at USF for putting on this fantastic event. Golf clap to all of you guys for your fantastic work. Now. Student government is also a big part of the college life experience. And Claire and Gustavo serve as the USF student body president and vice president. Since their inauguration, now these two have been working tirelessly to ensure that they are serving each and every student here at USF. 
Let's check in right now with Claire and Gustavo. Guys, take it away. Welcome back, USF Bulls. My name is Claire Mitchell. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I serve as your student body president. It has truly been a summer full of unexpected challenges. However, like many of you, I am very excited to return back to campus tomorrow. Whether you're a new student coming to USF for the first time or a returning student, your student government wants you to know that our university has prioritized your success as a student despite the obstacles the coronavirus has placed before us. Although the university environment may feel much different with social distancing guidelines and face coverings, there are still so many amazing ways to engage with other students and participate in our beloved USF traditions. And what is good, Bulls? My name is Gustavo Spunger. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his, and I serve as your student body vice president. Um, as an international student myself, shout out to all my Brazilians out there. I wanted to point out that whether you'll be joining us in person tomorrow or you'll be watching your classes from the other side of the world, our university still deeply cares about you, your success, and your college experience. I know this hasn't been the year that we all dreamed of, but what truly make our experiences at USF worthwhile is the people that we surround ourselves with. So, whether you'll be studying in the library with your best friends, six, far up, six feet apart, of course, or will be unintentionally interrupting each other in a group study call, I hope that you try to cherish these moments with your fellow bows and continue to build long-lasting relationships. Additionally, Claire and I want to also take the time to re-emphasize the message that strongly shaped the summer of 2020 for many of us. Black lives still matter. We at USF have always prided ourselves on the diversity of our university. And it was about time that we all took the deeply rooted issues of racism into account, both in our personal and professional lives, and became better allies for those who have had their voices silenced for so long. We want to extend this message to not only our Black students, faculty, and staff, but for all our stakeholders of all different races, genders, mental and physical abilities, and sexual orientations. You are welcome here, and you belong here at USF. Over this past summer, as students have prepared to return back to campus, y'all have continued to create a, an impact in your homes and communities by standing up for justice surrounding the Black Lives Matter movement and continuing to push USF and your peers to think differently, learn, and grow as individuals. I am so proud of the USF student body for continuing to push to create change even while being away from campus. One of my favorite traditions at USF is the week of welcome and the balloon drop. And although we are celebrating together virtually this year, I am so excited to continue these traditions with our fellow Bulls. Gustavo and I would like to thank everyone for tuning in today and kicking off the start of the fall semester. And as always, go Bulls. And now I'm gonna pass it back to Greg in the studio. Thank you so much, Claire and Gustavo. Fantastic words from the both of you guys. And you can see I'm ready. I am ready for the return of sports. Obviously, we've got the return of the NBA. We've got the return of Major League Baseball. We got the return of the NHL. And it is now time for USF Athletics to get back into action, Bulls Nation. I can't wait. And I'm super excited to bring this next gentleman to you right now. It is the head football coach of your USF football team, Coach Jeff Scott. Take it away, Coach. I'm Jeff Scott, your head football coach at the University of South Florida. I'm excited to be here, and I know you are too. The University of South Florida is a special place. USF students are what make it so. You are a diverse, talented, driven group of our future leaders, thinkers, and creators. You are also a very important part of the USF athletics team, and specifically our football program. Your support helps drive our student athletes to even greater achievements and helps attract future standouts to our campus. Our program is built on these core values, communication, common purpose, family atmosphere, genuine appreciation for each other, and trust and respect. We also believe that the best is the standard in everything that we do, in the classroom, in the community, and on the football field. This standard is gonna allow us to become a championship program and win conference championships here at the University of South Florida. Students play a big part in that vision in achieving those goals. We wanna be united from start to finish and we need you 
Rocking Ray J, and all our athletic venues. Let's stay safe, practice everything we need to, to keep each other healthy, and let's have a great time. We'll be rooting for you too. We hope you have a great experience at USF and achieve all your goals and dreams. We wish you the best of luck and look forward to seeing you and your friends in green and gold on game days. Go Bulls! Love that message from Coach. United start to finish. That is what it is all about this year. Now, the student heard Perks app. You guys just saw that video. I encourage you, if you have not downloaded it yet, please do it tonight because when you are going to USF athletic events, you check in on your phone, you get points. You get to then redeem those points for awesome prizes. Who doesn't want free food? I mean, hello, it's a student meal plan. We gave that away last season. Uh, we gave away a trip to spring break. We gave away a car. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could use one th or all of those things in your life. So please download the Herd Student Perks app. And before I get out of here tonight, I really do look forward to seeing all of you students very, very soon at an athletic event. Uh, fingers crossed we get back to that very soon. But I am excited to bring this very awesome person to us here as we are closing out our kickoff virtual event. Please give a warm welcome right now to the Dean of Students. It is Dr. Danielle McDonald. I am so excited to have you all here. Welcome to our new Bulls and welcome back to everyone else. We have missed you so much. I hope you enjoyed the programs that have been offered already this past week. I know I saw many of you at Bulls Night Out Friday night and y'all know a lot about Disney trivia. And many of you connected with your RAs this week and your pals, some of the most important resources on campus. Now, of course, tomorrow is the first day of classes. Time to set that alarm clock. I know it might be the first time you've set the alarm clock in quite a while. Me too. But since some of you have never been to campus before, we will have staff out on golf carts and walking around campus to answer any questions you have or help you find those classes. For those of you taking classes online, your instructors will be ready to welcome you to Canvas. And of course, when you do leave your rooms and come to campus, remember to mask up and stay six feet away from each other. Now this week of welcome is jam packed with events. Two of my favorite events are coming up, the Welcome Back Jam and Rocky's Roundup, starring comedian Jay Farrow. Yes, it's gonna be a good time. Be sure to look out for all of those WOW and the first 50 days programs because there is something for everyone and I can't wait to see you at all of them. It is so important that you continue to connect online with our support services, our student organizations, and all of our involvement opportunities. While I know it's different in many ways, it can be better. You can chat during events and not have to leave your room. Now, despite our circumstances, I am so excited that you all have decided to join us in making 2020 a much better year. <laughs> I can't wait to see you on campus at, and, at all of our online events. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a week of welcome without a class photo, another one of my favorite traditions. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce the class photo 2020 style. Go Bulls! USF Bulls are here!